Oh, hi, what a surprise. Come on in, let me show you my crib. So as you can see, it's pretty empty in here. That's because we're in the middle of renovating and throwing away all the stuff. So this is more of a before video. Originally, I wanted to show you everything after it's finished and it all looks pretty because right now it doesn't look too pretty, especially upstairs. Then I thought it makes sense to show you what it looks like right now and just tell you about all of my plans for each room. And this is Pinsu. Okay, let's start with the living room where Garcha pay on duty. I think I got this for my New York trip. Yeah, I think so. Mochi! There he is! <laughs> Our guard okay. Mochi is currently recovering from surgery. He's doing so well. So far, we already renewed the whole heating system. All the lights were done and the garage door was repaired. We rented this place with another person before, so we couldn't really do much about the whole design. Plus, we didn't have the financial means, but now, five years later, it's our house, which is amazing. And now we can finally make our dream house come to life and have it as our base, even if we move to Korea someday. Having a safe base is just a really good feeling. This is left over from one of my videos. You guys can probably remember. I thought you wanted to take it off right away. I like it. Oh, you do? Yeah, also I'm too lazy. <laughs> okay, so this is the only room most of you guys know. The living room slash kitchen. Don't mind the pile of boxes. This is actually all the stuff we ordered for our bedroom. This is our next project. So in here there's still a lot of work to be done. I'm constantly Pinteresting for inspiration. So for this room I'm having some kind of 70s vintage vibes in mind, if you know what I mean. Yeah? Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> like gold, yeah. velvet, gold. palm trees. And what? Yeah, all that stuff. Poultry? Oh, we, we got a palm over there. A oh, palm trees? Yeah. I thought you were saying poultry. I'm vegan now. Some nice cozy lighting since there's not too much sunlight coming in. So we only got these two big windows over there. I think this one's facing east. This one's in the north side, so there's no light at all. So we already got this wonderful table chair combination. That's new and it's just the vibe I'm going for, like velvet gold. Can you, can you see it? Yeah. The yeah. vision. I see it. Yeah. And some nice little plants. They're real, of course. And no, they're all fake. Also, these ones are fake but very pretty. We can only place fake plants over here because it's very dark and real plants would die. I thought of like some relaxing clubhouse bar vibes, you know, where you can just have a drink and relax after work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. But we don't drink. No, <laughs> non, non alcoholic drinks. Yeah, I mean, that was the, the reason in the first place that we got uh, an office far away from our home. So we can finally separate work from our private life. It, I feel like it's getting better these days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We do better. Okay, now we move on to the kitchen and that's, that's your part. This is my kitchen. That's where all the magic happens. Karina is not allowed in here. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's doing, right? This is Mochi's true. medication. Right. We're gonna basically redo the whole kitchen, so there's no point in showing, but... <laughs> yeah. This is new. Our fridge, look at this. Knock knock. Who's <laughs> there? You have ice, you can lock it. Yeah. If you wanna diet, you know, you can lock it. And you have <laughs> ice and the Wi-Fi. All the things you need that don't work right now, because I didn't install it yet. <laughs> Our packed food storage area. Gonna renew all this. Gonna rip it all out. What are we gonna do with the kitchen? I'm leaning towards like marble. Marble? marble. White yes. marble? White marble. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Okay, what's next? We could unbox some of the bedroom boxes. Wanna mm -hmm. do that? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Are you just standing there looking at the tree? I'm looking at the bonsai. Oh, that's pretty nice, guys. I always wanted to have one of these 
Is that the weird, ball? No, it's a weird little knot pillow. Look at this. It's for the bed decoration. It's gonna look cute. Oh, nice. Oh. That's nice. It's one of our night uh, tables or nightstands. So we got two of them and there is a glass plate on top. Oh, wow. Oh, oh nice. it looks really nice. I thought it was just like a simple print. Okay, let me show you. Wow, it's really pretty. It's called Flower Boat and I really like the energy of it. Don't you think this painting would do pretty well by the entrance, yeah. actually? So it's for the bedroom. Yeah, I know. We're flexible. Like this. The knives. Hmm. Or maybe even here, like, like this. I don't know. I have like no interior design skills. <laughs> oh, you do. I just need to channel them. Let's go upstairs. So, Ooh, yellow lights. Yeah, yellow <laughs> lights, right? We definitely got to change that. And also the stairs, you can see. I thought it might be nice to paint them white. Would be much nicer, right? And also these handrails. They kind of look like in, in an arts praxis. <laughs> I haven't paid much detail to no? arts praxis handrails. <laughs> oh, really? We definitely need to switch out these lamps. They're really old, like, they, they're hideous. And we also need to switch out these because it's a bit dangerous. As you can see, there is a gap here and if Pingsu decides to go through, she will fall pretty deep. Okay, so we got four rooms up here. Let's start with this one. Okay guys, so this one. The blue this, room. It's <laughs> the blue room, yeah. I really don't know who thought this color would be a good idea for this dark room. It's the blue room to be sad yeah, and I just sit here when I'm sad and I go over there and I'm <laughs> even sadder. So this has been our bedroom for two or three years, right? Yeah. So these rooms upstairs are still pretty raw. We haven't done much except decluttering. Doesn't look like it, but we have decluttered so much. Yeah. Like, you know, why it doesn't end. So this one will be the walk-in closet, basically. There will also be a makeup area. Ooh. Uh -huh. So I basically want this whole wall to be a full open closet. And probably this corner will be a, a makeup corner with nice mirror and lighting and all that stuff so i'd love a bright boutique style with a huge carpet on the floor and a nice cozy chair with a golden couch table and some fashion magazines on it right yeah so you have a waiting corner while i choose my outfits oh yeah and of course i'll make another room tour after all of it is finished and i'll update you on my instagram or or on this side so let's move on into the next room. Okay. Hold that door. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the next room. The forbidden room. The forbidden room. <laughs> it's been our study room for the past years. When we used to be students. When we used to be yes, students. Yes, we both did go to university. Mm -hmm. Wow, you never think that. Right now we don't study anymore, so we just dumped all the stuff we didn't find a designated place for yet in there. It's gonna be a very cozy guest bedroom in the future, so our parents or friends can come over. So let's 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 take a quick peek. Objection! That's enough. Okay, let's move on to the bedroom, which will be our first makeover project. Did you did you make the beds? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Oh, well, that's it. Well, I made the bed. Um, it's it's fine. This is the limit of my it's, it's fine. bed making ability. It, it's cute. This is the prettiest part about this room. I'm so in love with this picture. <laughs> and yeah, this is another wardrobe. I think you're gonna use it for your stuff. Yeah, right now I just use like this. Like this? Yes. <laughs> Actually, I photoshopped a little room layout. Wait a second, let me show you. I wanted to plan out which pieces look good together. So this is what it looks like. I know it looks a little weird perspective-wise, but you can see the vision. I think this way you can really visualize like, no, this, this doesn't fit and you can see which pieces go together. Guess who chose the bed color? Yeah, I actually said we already got pink chairs for the kitchen, so let's not overdo it, but can't complain, it's pretty cool. Okay, let's move on to the next room, the last room. 
our bedroom. Pretty small but cozy. Big enough. Just everything you need, and we'll probably toilet, remove shower, the toilet, shower, the sink, sink everything. Mm -hmm. Maybe this one. <laughs> Today, a little key piece arrived that I really wanted to show you guys. Oh, spoiler. Ooh. Okay, guys, this is my new pineapple lamp. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, in case you haven't noticed, we're really into golden pineapples these days. I don't even know why, but it's pretty aesthetic in my opinion. But what do we need for a lamp? Right, a light bulb. Luckily the sponsor of today's video is Gosand. So this is not an ordinary light bulb. Gosand actually sent me a variety of their smart home products. I've always been a huge fan of smart home systems, but I thought they were pretty expensive. But all of their products come at a very reasonable price. They sent me this Wi-Fi light bulb. There's actually four in it. The smart LED light strip, you can put it on the back of your TV or your computer. And the smart bedside lamp which looks really nice and modern. So let's try out the Wi-Fi bulb first. I think this would be a nice spot, right? Mm -hmm. You like it? I love it. Question time. How many Germans does it take to change a light bulb? Only one. We're very efficient. And not very funny. Now I connected it to the app. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a few features of the app. Here you can adjust the brightness, low and very high, pretty powerful. Also, you can, oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> that's actually better than I imagined. Now you can play around with the colors here. Oh, look at this, guys. Oh my God, I'm in love. You can also adjust the color temperature. So a lot of settings to find your perfect lighting situation according to your mood. You can also set a countdown, let me see. Okay, so you can say one hour confirm and then it turns off after one hour by itself it's pretty cool okay guys before we move on i just found a feature that's called music so when i talk it changes okay guys so this is the led strip it comes with this usb adapter we used a different tv led strip before that we had to turn on and off manually apparently you just have to plug it into your usb port in the back of the tv or your computer that's very convenient it can be controlled with the app as well and it even features voice control you don't have to be a pro to install this that's all it takes okay hi can you see me Okay, we did it guys. So you can just adjust the color with the app as well. So watch this. Alexa, pineapple lamp aus. Okay. Okay, lastly we got the Gosand bedside lamp. Looks really cool. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so it's a... Oh, oh that's cool. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Look at this. So I can just tap here and it changes colors. It's nice. And I can also... Wow, pretty cool, right? You also got the timing function for this one, and I think it's pretty cool for people who. Oh, hi. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my god. I feel like a fortune teller. I can see your future. It's bright. I don't exactly know how this works, but it does, and I love it. I think the timing function is great for this one for people who like to fall asleep with the lights on, so it turns off by itself. So guys, if you're looking to step up your comfy level at home, you should definitely give these products a try. And also the fact that they're a lot more affordable than most smart home devices. Feel free to check them out with the links below and tell me about your experience. This is our little garden area. We have a pond over here. There used to be fish in there, but not anymore. Koi. You used to have koi. Koi? Yeah, oh. koi carps. Over there are our quail, living their best life in the house we built for them. They're so cute. In case you didn't know, we rescued them a while ago from being slaughtered. So I think they are pretty happy. Okay, let's move on to the home gym. So this is probably the least appealing part. This little patio. This is Pinkso's toilet. This is Pinkso's toilet, right? Some old bikes. We want to redo all of this. The walls, the floor. And I thought of some kind of zen garden. Zen garden. Yeah. I always leave the curtains closed because it looks like this. So I really want to make it look pretty. I, I want to clean it up a bit and make it hot. Okay, now it's your turn. This is uh, a project in work. Da -da. 
still a lot of things to do. I recently just got everything removed in here. I'll clean it up and put this on the floor. This is my equipment. This you wanted to uh, attach a mirror to the wall, right? Right, right. Think so? Think yeah, so. Yeah. Don't poop. She, <laughs> she pooped in here twice <laughs> already. <laughs> It's really hard to remove. Okay guys, so that's it for today's house tour. I really hope you liked it, even though everything is still in the before state. So please look forward to another house tour, probably in a few months, I'd say, when everything is finished. Hey. Hey. Oh, she wants to play. I, I gotta go play now. So if you guys like this video, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks. Hey.